If I was to search for the best data warehouse to learn in this job market in the tech industry, the first thing that would undoubtedly come up would be Snowflake. Not just in one website, but many. You can also see that it has the largest market share. In fact, I did my own research last year where I scraped a lot of data from LinkedIn job descriptions and found out that Snowflake was indeed mentioned in most of them compared to any other tool. And it's not just important for data engineers. It, even if you are a data analyst or data scientist or any other profile in the data industry, I feel learning Snowflake is very important. I mean, just take a look at all these companies who are using Snowflake. Adobe, Netflix, Canva, Zoom, Okta, DocuSign, Johnson & Johnson, Bumble, Autodesk, and many, many giants. As many of you might know, I'm Josh, and I'm a senior software engineer at DoorDash working in data and AI field. And what you might not know is DoorDash is also a big customer of Snowflake. And before DoorDash, I used to work at Google and there I worked very closely with BigQuery. So I'm somebody who has worked very closely with competitors of Snowflake like BigQuery or Amazon Redshift in the past. So I think it makes me perfect to make this kind of video. Snowflake is easier to adopt. You don't really need to learn AWS or Azure or GCP or any other cloud platform to be on Snowflake. I think it has taken Apple's approach to things in data warehouse where you just know that things are very simple and they just work without you having to configure a lot of things. And somebody who has a lot of experience in older kind of data warehouses like Teradata or SQL Server, for them also going to Snowflake is really very easy switch. It has a very simple t-shirt sizing approach to data warehouse sizes which is very easy to understand and it has completely separate uh, data storage layer versus the compute layer which makes it very easy to scale up and scale down. And it's also cloud native from the start and it doesn't require you to learn any new programming languages like Python or Java or anything else. Alright, so now we know that Snowflake is the market leader and we also know why. Let's talk about the main topic of this video. How to learn Snowflake the fastest way possible. Okay, so you might not know this, but I had to learn Snowflake on my very first job because they were using it a lot. And because I learned while working, I always learned bits and pieces about Snowflake that was useful for me at the time. And I did not take a formal course for quite some time. I did it at the very end when I wanted to do certification and I realized that it wasn't the best or the most optimal way to learn Snowflake. So before making this video, I asked myself that if I was to relearn Snowflake, how would I do it? so that I don't make the same mistakes I did before. I'm going to talk about mainly three things in this video. Which Snowflake course to take that gives you the best return on investment on your time? What is the fastest way to learn Snowflake hands-on? And how to stay updated with Snowflake architecture and features as they release in an ongoing manner. I'm also going to talk about Gen AI specific learnings with respect to Snowflake at the end of this video as an extra point, so stick around. But before we get started, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. It really helps me out a lot. Okay, so there are two best courses on Udemy. Number one is the Snowflake Masterclass and that's about 16 hours long. And number two is a course that specifically targets Snowflake Snow Pro core exam and it's about seven or seven and a half hours long. While both are really good courses and you cannot go wrong with either of them, in this video we are talking about the fastest way to learn Snowflake. So I recommend taking the seven hour course from Tom Bailey. By the way, all these links that I'm talking about are mentioned in the description so you can check it out. As you can see, the price of this course right now is about 3100 INR. I do not recommend buying this course when it's on this price and when it's not discounted. Just wait for a couple of days and you will definitely get some sort of coupon and you will get this course at about 500 Indian rupees. So that's the best price for it and that's when you should buy this course. This will give you really important foundational framework but just taking a seven hour course is obviously not going to make you super confident on Snowflake. And having taken this course as well as exam myself, I can definitely say that it's also not enough to directly go ahead and crack the exam. Because any tool or technology that you learn, you need to understand that hands-on is as important as learning the theory. So this is an hands-on essential when it's data warehouse, data applications, data sharing, and data lake. And this is also a place where you can start your 30-day free trial. All you have to do is give your email ID and you'll be able to start your 30-day free trial with Snowflake. So after going through data warehousing and data lake workshops, I would recommend also going through data engineering workshop. With this, you'll get hands-on experience on date and type type of data types, which is very common in most organizations. You will also learn about tasks 
and pipes that you can set up in Snowflake for automatic ingestion and processing of data. After this, if you have time and if you want to gain even more confidence, then you can go to Snowflake Quick Starts. You have to go to quickstarts.snowflake.com. It has hands-on lab for different types of tasks like ingesting data into Snowflake. You can filter by category here as well. So I would recommend filter by data engineering category. Compare the quick starts with the course that you took on Udemy. And if there is a quick start on that topic, then I recommend doing that so that you get hands-on experience as well. Next, I highly recommend that you have to stay in touch with Snowflake updates and features as they release. Uh, you can go to medium.com slash Snowflake. Only accepted experts in the community or people from Snowflake can post on this. This will give you periodic articles that you can read about new features or new type of architecture patterns or use cases. You can see already there is a new hot guide about running DeepSeq R1 in Snowpark container services. So by following this Medium community, you are making sure that you are also staying relevant on Snowflake. If you have already done the hard work of learning Snowflake until this point, why not just get a certification? It's like a verified stamp from Snowflake that you can put on your resume and it can also help you get shortlisted in Snowflake related roles. Only one additional thing that you would have to do to crack this exam apart from all the things that you already did is give some mock tests. And this is the mock test that I recommend. It's available on Udemy and only get this when you are seeing this on a discount. It has four or five different practice exams that you can give. Learning just one tool like Snowflake is obviously not enough to crack a really great career in data domain. You need a structured path and more importantly a guaranteed job or internship at the end of your journey. And that's why I'm going to talk about data science program by Internshala that comes with a guaranteed placement when you complete the course. It's a completely certified six months bootcamp designed to take you from zero to job ready. And the best part if you don't get hired you can get 100% of refund. Yes, that's a real guarantee. You can also see the top companies which are hiring on Internshala right here. The highest stipend offered after this course for an internship was about 50,000 rupees a month. There were more than 6,500 internships which were converted into PPO. And you don't really have to take my word for it, but you can just check out the reviews of people who took this course recently. So there are 200 plus hours of learning, eight courses, seven real life projects, 15 assignments. So you can see it talks about data analytics, uh, analysis with Excel, Power BI, visualization, SQL, Python, and data-driven machine learning, NLP. And in this world of LLMs and generative AI, learning deep learning is kind of must nowadays. You will also get doubt solving sessions, bonus study materials, interview simulations, where you can practice your mock interviews and a lot of live studies and practice questions. Seats are limited and admissions also close at a certain timeline. So if you are serious about a career in data science and want a guaranteed placement in the end, hit the link in the description and check it out. Out now. Now to run your generative AI workloads on Snowflake, there is a new product that they've recently launched which is called Snowflake Cortex. Now I'm really impressed with this product because you can directly run any kind of LLM workload and you don't really need to learn any kind of programming languages. You can just write a simple SQL query and it will do the job in the backend for you. And it's not just about using out of the box LLM models, you can do fine tuning here as well. For example, let's look at this function called classified text. All you have to do is write a simple query like select input classes snowflake cortex dot classify text and here you give all the possible uh, list of values of your classification so in this case we are giving label and there are different categories in like travel cooking dancing then automatically the input that you specify here will get classified into the one of those classes using generative ai just by writing this three four line of query you can make use of generative ai models in your snowflake data so that's pretty good i'm also going to link that documentation of snowflake cortex in the description below so i definitely recommend checking that out all right so that's about it i know this was a short video but i tried to keep it really brief and crisp and on point so i'm sure if you follow this it will really help you out in your data journey and learning snowflake as soon as possible if you find this video useful do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have anything to discuss about any questions or anything feel free to drop it in the comment section see you next time